Welcome to the leather journey. Uh, I'm Dex and it's been a couple weeks since we've done a video, but we've been very busy. So we have an unboxing to do. Uh, and then in the same filming set, I'm gonna do a couple other videos. I don't remember if you've seen my little, my new little puppy, Bunny. Bunny was born on Easter and uh, she's a Coton de Tulier. And I probably mispronounced that, but literally she's the softest dog I think I've ever owned. And she's a real sweetheart, but we're gonna put her down and let her go running off. So a couple of videos ago, I did a review for a couple of dragon tongues. Some people might call these dragon tails. It's a, it's a little bit different design than what I consider a dragon tail. So we might distinguish it as a dragon tongue but it's not, I've seen some dragon tongues that were short, like 12 to 18 inches long. These particular tails were 33 inches long and they're really nice. They roll out nice and you can crack them even though they're short. Uh, they're really easy to do Florentine with and I liked them. I liked them a lot, but I thought I might like them better if they were four feet long instead of 33 inches long. So I'm pretty sure, I'm trusting my memory, we'll pull a quick measurement. But I said, could you make me a pair, yeah, 33 inches long, uh, that are four feet long? And Rurik X Pains X Works uh, at his Etsy shop said, of course. Uh, and I'd have to look back at the invoice. He said it wouldn't be a whole lot more uh, than the 33 inch ones, just a little bit longer piece of leather. I think he charged me about the same. Uh, and I don't know if he did that because I'm such a handsome guy or because he knew I was gonna do another review. Uh, but at any rate, I didn't pay much more than I did for the, the 33 inch ones. But these should be four feet long and uh, in my opinion, you'll get better performance out of them because they're longer. Our little case Sodbuster Jr. is doing its job here. I'm dulling it on this plastic. That's okay, that'll give me an opportunity to sharpen it. So let's see what we got. Drum roll. I told him I didn't care what color the leather was, so it looks like he made them in black, which is fine, because I'm going to use them in a dim lit dungeon. And, but he made really, he, he accented the handles really nicely. I'm going to come up close so you can see that and compare that to the first one he made. Okay, the first ones he made, this handle, the Turk's head doesn't have an accent in it. It's just a solid black Turk's head. This Turk said actually has purple paracord woven in to give it an accent, which is very nice. He took that accent concept with the new ones and he wove in, I'm pretty sure under black light, this is gonna be fluorescent. He wove in a green paracord strand, flat strand, just to give it a little bit of color. Of course, when you're holding it in your hand, you're not gonna see that color, probably, but if you turn it around and you use it like a pommel, you would be able to see it. So these are gonna throw a little more whip-like. Let me take a quick look at the invoice or the packing slip that he sent me. Um, yeah. Uh, it really just has the, the total. I don't do prices when I uh, do a review because prices change over time and I'm hoping the review has some resilience and is a value to people ten, five, ten years from now. So this four foot dragon tongue, it has a longer tongue, a wider tongue than the 33 inch the leather, honestly, feels like it's slightly heavier weight. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
I mean, compare that. I'm gonna try to throw it about the same hardness or strength. You get a little puff out of that, but you really can't get a crack out of that. When you move that 33 inches to four feet, you get a distinct crack. And now I can't get it to crack, there we go. You know, it also makes a difference. Uh, the orientation of the tongue in the air does make a difference. It's brand new, I just pulled it out of the box. I haven't had a chance to play with that, but I can tell you that will make a difference. So along the leather journey, we have to figure out what the best orientation is to hold it in your hand if you're wanting to get a crack out of it. So those are gonna be really nice and those are gonna get played with at a party tonight. Yes, tonight. Very nice. Okay, so dragon tongues, I'm gonna call these dragon tongues. If you call them dragon tails, I won't be offended. Uh, and these were not on his Etsy site. I ordered these by messaging him directly and requesting that he do this in a four foot instead of a 36 inch. And you can see it's, it's substantially, a substantially bigger tail, uh, but very, very nice work. Thank you very much for doing this for me. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Uh, if you found this video to be helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, considering uh, subscribing. Realize that many of the videos uh, that, are, that are truly leather-oriented are for members only, so you might consider actually becoming a channel member. Uh, even at the lowest level, it, gets you, it gives you access to all of the instructional videos. Thanks again for watching.